Hey guys, Michael Stilwell here from the Piano Technician Academy, and today we're going to be talking about double escapement actions compared to single escapement actions. So as many of you know, I own a piano store and I talk to a lot of people looking to purchase pianos. And one thing I hear a lot is, my teacher told me my student needs to get a grand piano now. They need to graduate from an upright piano to a grand piano. The issue is, a lot of times teachers don't explain why they want the student to go up to a grand piano. Um, they may say something along the lines of, oh, it's just faster, or we need to prepare them for the weight or the feeling of a grand piano so when they go do competitions or recitals on a grand piano, they're not fumbling around. But in this video, I'm going to break apart what that is, uh, what we're actually talking about here and what a double escapement action is compared to a single escapement action. So let's start with the grand piano action, the double escapement action. Okay, so this is a grand piano action model that we got from our awesome friends over at Renner USA, which is also located in Arizona. But I'm going to show you a little bit about how this works. So when I press this key down, you can see what happens instantly is this capstan pushes up this whipping. It also, in the back of this key, it's pushing up our back check and our damper assembly. So our damper is now lifted. Our back check has caught our hammer, and it's just resting right there. And if I slowly release this key, watch what this jack does and what this repetition lever does. I'm not all the way up. I'm just barely released a little bit of pressure. And this repetition lever spring is pushing this repetition lever up, which is pushing the hammer up just a little bit, not enough to touch the string, but just a little bit. And it's allowing this jack to start its journey back down to its resting position. Now see, it can get back in there and I can restrike this without this key coming all the way back up. That is what makes a double uh, escapement action faster than a single repetition or a single escapement action because we're able to restrike this key before I have to release the key all the way. Now I don't play fast enough to make that actually matter, but that is a very, very big part of why we tell our students to graduate up to a grand or baby grand piano action. So now let's go over to the upright piano. Okay, now that we have a uh, single escapement action or an upright piano action here, we can talk about the differences between this and the grand piano action. So you'll notice when I press this key right here, all that's really happening is this jack is getting pushed up by the whippin, which is getting pushed up by the capstan, and it's pushing up right here. This is called the hammer butt, and it's igniting this string. But as you can see, I have no spring mechanism, no repetition lever that's going to reset this jack while my hammer is not in its resting position. The only way for that jack to reset is for me to fully release this key and for that jack to slide back where it goes. Now I can restrike. If I try to do it here, it's nothing's going to happen. We have to let that fully drop down and, re and reset so that we can restrike the key. And that is the main difference between a single repetition action and a double repetition action, or a single escapement action and a double escapement action. If you guys have any questions about this or anything piano related, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at pianotechnicianacademy.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome piano related videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.